and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge. I'm often asked, how do you photograph your artwork? Well, this is not going to be a photography course, but what I want to show you and make sure that you're aware of three things to begin how to photograph your artwork correctly. Number one, I photograph everything on my phone, no matter what size, but make sure that there's no glass, no frames, no mat, just the artwork signed. Make sure you signed it too. So here's a canvas mounted hanging on the wall. Doesn't matter what size, big pieces, small pieces. I do the same thing all the time. No glass, no mat. No frame. So if you don't have a wall, I use this black board, <laughs> just a piece of foam board, black board, and the smaller pieces. Here's a paper piece. I put some tape in the back, stick it on just like that. Voila, no nails, no tacks, just the artwork. All right, let me show you number two. And the next thing is be aware of the hot spots. You know, those little sparkly, shiny parts that reflect off your painting. You can do that by having even lighting. It's really helpful to have two lights, one on each side, 45 degree angle, well lit, evenly lit. It takes care of those glares and the hot spots. Let me go to number three. And number three, beware of keystoning your painting. What you see is what you get. If you don't hold it square, you see, the back is not parallel with the camera. So now the top of the painting looks wider, the bottom is much more narrower. You wanna make sure that it's squared up just like that. Click, take the picture, all done. Pretty simple, three very important things to be aware of. It's not really a photography course, but I wanted you to be aware of the three things we overlook all the time. This is important information, pretty simple, but important because these are the photographs you're going to send in for your competitions, the gallery interviews, maybe even a museum. You wanna send them your best. If it's out of focus and keystoned and has glare on it, they're gonna consider you not too professional. So to increase your chance to get into those art shows and festivals and galleries, be reminded of those three principles. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, a painter and guess what? I'm going to be painting and teaching at the Dillman's, a four-day loosen up. Don't we all want to loosen up? And I'm going to show you how I develop my own ideas, how I get my colors down, and how I take these ideas and turn them into great paintings that I love to do. And you're going to love doing your paintings too, because you're going to be painting the whole time. We cover every different subject, and whatever your ideas are, I'm going to be supporting you. So loosen up four days. What an idea, huh? And I can't wait at the Dillman's. I'll see you there at the Loosen Up Workshop.